All right, I've been trying to get a good video for you guys. Camera likes to keep switching back to portrait mode on me. Uh, even sometimes when I'm filming in landscape, but you know, between that and having the heater on and not being able to hear over me, it's, it's a tough to get a good quality video. So the first thing I'm going to cover here is removing the fender. And then we'll get into how to actually install the brace or how I install the brace, what mistakes I made and, and what things I would do differently uh, and how we made the second one go a lot easier. Uh, we'll do that in a separate video. Right now we're just going to cover the fenders. So to remove the fenders, you got to remove your ground effects, the, the corner piece. You're going to have to open your door slightly at one point. Uh, for now, we'll leave it we'll leave it shut, and I'll show you how that works later. Uh, and then you're going to basically just remove a whole bunch of 10mm uh, nuts. So your 10mm nuts are on the underside. you got two. Uh, you got one behind the door. That's the one you'll have to open the door to get to. Uh, then you're going to have one, two, three, four up top, right? And you got one below. Now here, this is behind your headlight. Um, it's not exactly behind the headlight. It's right here. So you can technically get that out without pulling the headlight, and I did on that side. Uh, but it's a lot easier if the headlight's out of your way. Then you got one, two, three, four on the back side of the fender. I believe one or two of these comes out with the, uh, with the corner brace. So let's take a look at that. The corner molding, whatever you want to call it. This guy comes out pretty easily. It's just hard to get it out without breaking. You can see this one's been scuffed up by a previous owner. All right, so you got 10 millimeter bolt. This goes on the side like this. 10 millimeter bolt on the back side of the wheel well, and I believe that's one of your, your fender bolts. And then on the underside, you're going to have a Phillips head screw. All right. And then back here, you've also got a panel clip. And you can see here where there's some dried up glue that had to break loose. That glue gave me some trouble on the other side. On this side, it was already broken loose. So I just slid a panel popper under here very gently, being careful not to, to scratch the paint, and just lightly pop this up. You're not going to get it all the way in, enough to get it around the retainer clip like you would for the door panels, but you'll get it close enough to kind of pop it out of place. That's going to be the best shot that I found of, of getting it out without breaking the clip. I did break the clip on the other side, because this glue was still sealed. And so by the time I got the glue to kind of pry loose enough to pop, the, the clip had already kind of twisted. Um, don't think that's gonna be too expensive to replace though. So not too hard. Keep that panel popper because you're gonna use it to break this glue up here on top of the fender. Did that by just very lightly sliding it underneath and just gently popping it back and forth. Don't open it all the way. You don't want to bend this metal. Just gently pop it out. I wish I had the panel popper here to show you, but uh, I said it somewhere after I after I removed the door panel earlier. I did show it to you in the door panel removal video, so if you want to see what a panel popper is, go look at that. But uh, go watch that video. But it's basically like a ten dollar tool. Uh, it makes this a lot easier. So next steps for me are going to be to pour fifteen the back of this and the uh, the fender wells here before I can put it all back together. But that's how you pull the fender brace or the, the fender, and that's how you remove the corner molding there. So go ahead and do those two, and then we'll get into how to do the, the comp works fender brace.